Good morning, everybody. It is 8.44 on December the 23rd. <clears throat> we are in Big Spring, Texas. And uh, we are heading towards uh, Carlsbad Caverns to do the self-guided tour today. So uh, we should be getting there, well, according to GPS, we'll be getting there at 11.15 Mountain Standard Time. So about a three hour, 30 minute drive from Big Spring. Uh, we're not doing any more interstate. Uh, we're off the interstate for a little bit. Excuse me, I'm a little congested. Uh, the weather change went from being in the teens at night and the uh, 30s and 40s during the day to 40s at night and 80 in the day. <laughs> so, uh, practically overnight. Um, no, I don't have COVID. Yes, I've had my vaccination. And yes, I've had my booster. Although, in my opinion, that's, per that's not really anybody's business but my own, but just for everybody's peace of mind. But anyways, um, so yeah, we're going to be taking some back roads. I think it's uh, 176. You could have been mistaken on that. We're in oil field country. Um, and this is not a joke, but uh, one good way to tell when you're in oil field country is when you stop at a convenience store or gas station, restaurant, and the prices are jacked up 50, 70, 80%. Take advantage of these guys. I, in my opinion, that's just, that's just wrong. That is just plain wrong. Um, no. I mean, Big Spring is not in the middle of nowhere. I mean, there's no reason why, you know, a $7 foot long sub at Subway should be $12. An eight piece chicken from Popeye's, $25. And that's just for the chicken, that's not the whole meal. I mean, maybe, sorry about that. Uh, maybe further west you get, the higher the prices get. I, I don't know, it's been a while since I've been out west, but, um, you know, I was in, right before we got into welfare country last night and stopped and the r prices were normal. You know, that's just wrong, but anyway. I mean, I know there's a lot of controversy about oil drilling and natural gas drilling and everything. You know, I, you guys have heard me mention before that I used to work in the oil field in the patch for many, many years. So I think you guys know where I stand on that, but besides the fact we don't pump oil, we don't pump the extra gas, you ain't driving your car and you ain't heating your home. That's all there is to it. You know, could it be a little bit safer? Yes. But, uh, well, I take that back. I guess we are getting on the highway for a little bit. You know, are there accidents? Yes. You know, does it cause a lot of damage? Yes. Um, but... You know, until an alternative alternative source of energy, clean, renewable energy, you know, solar, you know, people don't realize there's a big argument about solar power, um, you know, solar panels and the batteries and all that made out of petroleum products, you know, not all of it, but some of it. Plus there's the mining to get all these materials to make the solar panels and the batteries. You know, I mean, until something comes up that is an efficient replacement, you know, it, it's going to happen. And you know, don't don't punish the people that are out here just trying to make a make a living. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. But anyways, enough with the ranting and raving. Uh, I try not to talk about politics on here, and I apologize. Uh, politics, religion. Uh, you know, those are the two big no-nos. You know, that's, that's your own personal business. And uh, that's where it should stay. So anyways, 
Back to what I was getting at. Yes, 176 Tes Texas West. So, uh, I got, I uh, forgot to do a little in ending last night on yesterday's video, but I did get a little, a little clip of the sunset. So, that'll go in there. And like I said, today we're heading to Carlsbad. We're going to do the, going to do self-guided tour. After that, we're going to head to the Guadalupe Mountains, to the campground there. Stay there. I've stayed there before. It's a really nice, really nice little campground. Um, so, check that out. Chill out for the day. Relax. Fix us some food. Have a little fire. Let the doggy explore. Oh yeah, she's she's so confused right now. Poor thing. We got to the pilot last night in Big Springs to park overnight. Now, Lucy's traveled a lot with me. She's never been this far west. Uh, she's been up in Maine, all the eastern states. There's grass, there's trees. <laughs> I took to walk her last night. There was no grass. It was just rock and dirt. The poor thing, she just, she really did not want to squat to go pee. She finally did, but she just didn't know what to think. <laughs> but she'll get used to it. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, big open flat country. Um, not quite desert. Uh, getting there, I guess this is what they call savannah. But, uh, yeah. We'll pick it back up here in a little bit. And, uh, see you guys later. Alright, it is, uh, 9.32. Well, actually 10.32. and about to be 9.32. We're approaching the New Mexico border. And be time traveling an hour into the past <laughs> so uh you know like getting that state crossing slow down a little bit past this guy we just passed a big huge uh machine back there in a passing lane yeah one of the few places in the u.s where uh at 75 miles an hour on a back road. <laughs> well, it's still a highway, it's not an interstate. But there's some places I've been in Texas where it's 80 miles an hour on a road like this. But I mean, as you can see, it's flat. <laughs> well, not quite flat. We're uh, 3,354 feet elevation slowly been climbing our way up. Not been good on the gas mileage, but eh. Plus it's real windy being open like this. And here we are coming up to the border. And welcome to New Mexico. stopping in Carlsbad itself at Walmart. We got to pick up a couple of things. I need to get some uh, weather stripping. I need to seal my back door and I got a couple little gaps. Uh, keep sand and dust from uh, getting in in the back. Because we uh, found out the hard way on the Trans America Trail we got in some dusty areas that you can get in there. Slow down, 55 through here. So, but there's going to be a lot of that coming up. We're going to be doing a lot of desert driving. So, uh, make sure we get sealed up. So, 
So we're approaching uh, Edis, 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 New Mexico right now. And then, like I said, uh, Carlsbad itself is uh, 60, 70 miles away. Yeah, we got a lot of exploring. There's not been a lot of video up to this point. You know, interstate driving. There's not really a lot to see. But I uh, did a little clip a little while back. Um, and we're going to actually be getting out of the vehicle a lot here in the next few days. Especially when we hit the Petrified National Forest. And like I said, today we got Carlsbad, Caverns. And uh, then uh, Guadalupe National Forest. And let's see what gas prices are. It looks like 309 here at the pilot in Anise. I think that's how you say this town's name. We'll leave it going here for a few minutes. You can check out the town and uh, let me turn the radar detector off because it's getting. I've had the thing, it's an iRate Cobra I radar. It uh it's pretty neat because it hooks up to a cell phone through Bluetooth and um Yeah, 309. Uh it hooks up through Bluetooth so you can see the, all the different bands and it also gives you a bunch of more information. I've had this one going on wow. 12 years so I think it's showing its age it's all the time giving me alerts when there's nothing around <laughs> it's always stop we're clear oil patch motel Eunice yeah Eunice Eunice yeah Eunice sorry miles to Carlsbad. Like I said, we'll be taking a break there. Picking up a few things. Uh, probably get some firewood so we can do a fire tonight. Uh, I got a bunch of leftovers, so we don't really need much food. Maybe a loaf of bread or some lunch meat or something. Just, you know, so we can make sandwiches along the way. Yeah, we got some uh, turkey stew. Or not turkey stew, turkey soup left over from Thanksgiving. Um, then we got uh, beef stew in there, we got chili in there, we got spaghetti in there. In there, I mean the refrigerator. So we got tons of food. Plus, I think we got some smoked sausages, eggs. Maybe pick up some bacon or sausage for breakfast. I think tonight we're going to either have some turkey soup or uh, beef stew, one of the two. We had chili a couple nights ago and spaghetti a couple nights ago, so... Oh, we got some fried chicken in there, too. Forget about that. Might have that for lunch today. I like cold fried chicken. As long as it's good fried chicken. Yeah, lots of uh, uh, oil oil field equip um, services in a lot of these towns and workers. Lots of little trailer parks. Um, well, not, not trailer parks, um, RV parks. 
And there goes a frack tank passing us going the other direction. He's blocking the little road. We, I guess we can go ahead and turn. This is Main Street, so we'll be heading through downtown here. Baby dog. Yeah, it's supposed to hit like 81 today. It's already getting warm. Grill. I don't believe there's a Walmart in this town. I did need to get some cash. Uh, it's one of one another reason I'm st st stopping at Walmart. I got a uh, Walmart debit card that I load up whenever I get donations and whatnot. And uh, I don't get charged a fee if I get cash back at Walmart when I might buy something. But it's like a $5 fee if I use any ATM. So. Another pilot. I know there's two pilots in this town. Well, this one's probably more of an auto center than a truck. Uh, just gas. <laughs> Dairy freeze. I've seen a couple of those. I guess it's generic Dairy Queen. <laughs> Still not sure uh, how I'm going to do these videos.